Hi guys, I just want you to know that now you can join my channel uh, on your PC or your phone. Uh, you would click the join button and you can scroll and you can join for $9.99 each month and get early access to all videos. And you can also um, get one question answered by me every month. Um, and you'll get access to all the extendeds. There is also another tier uh, for $14.99, uh, you will get two questions answered every month and access to uh, all the extended readings and early access to just all videos. So take advantage now. Uh, it's here for you. Thank you. Take care. Hi, Aquarius. It's L here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting and subscribing to the channel it means a lot please continue to do so all links are below if you need to get in contact with me let's get into it thank you god for blessing aquarius with a clear concise message from you all right let's see what's happening for the aquarius what is going on how is aquarius coming into the reading how is aquarius coming into the reading the three of cups okay so you're creating um, emotional fulfillment, triumph, success, victory in something that you're doing, maybe a creative endeavor. You're also showing up to other persons or just one particular person as the one who got away. This person feels like if they do come back, they got to do something big. Like they got to pop the question by your house, cat, dog. I don't know. Um, you're also showing up as like whatever you're engaging in, in terms of maybe career, it is successful. It will be successful. This is the initial stages of creation. So this looks really good here. You could be communicating with siblings or close uh, people, close neighbors or people around you, people that you would see on a day to day basis or at least a week to week basis here. All right, let's see. Um, this could be friend groups also. How is a person that Aquarius is coming to the reading for? How are they coming into the reading? Uh, the person that Aquarius is coming to the reading for, how are they coming in the page of wands? So they want to explore with you. They want to even have a, like a makeup session with you. Um, they want to have excitement. You know, um, they're dressing well, doing well. They want you to be a part of whatever they have go going on. Um, they want attention from you also, the Page of Wands. They want to see how far they can get with you. All right. What is the energy between the two, Aquarius and this particular person? Okay, two cards came out, the Hangman and the Knight of Pentacles. So this person may want you to forever be maybe a side person, a person in the wings, um, a person that will always make adjustments in their life for them. You want they this you know the energy between the two of you is always sacrifice. Um, it's always off and on, like it's always a, a start and then stop, a push and then a pull. Uh, the energy between the two of you is one that you know of devotion, maybe devoted to hanging in there or making it work or compromising, but also devoted to taking breaks. Um, make, this also could be like somebody wants you to be. You know, in that energy of maybe the other woman or the other man. Or this person always wants you to make sacrifices in terms of what they want. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Could be dealing with uh, Cancer. Pisces. Um, let's see. What can we tell Aquarius about this relationship? The Eight of Wands. So things will... There'll be some communication, you know, somebody's going to declare their intentions. You know, there is a bit of obsession or infatuation. You could have met this person traveling, moving about, going out, hanging out, being with other friends, or there'll be some communication, but it might not be face to face here also with the eight of wands showing up. Uh, there'll be opportunity for somebody to pounce. Okay. There's also, um, it, it, things are going to move fast quickly things are going to it's, it's like obstacles that were placed in the way of this relationship will be removed what is this about the three of swords if you guys are not talking 
if there's isolation, alienation, miscommunication, misrepresentation of what I said, I didn't mean that. You guys may even have some type of clearing the air session. Let's see. Um, somebody could be heartbroken. It could be that you are a third party or somebody wants you as a third party. We got three, three, three coming up here. Um, the King of Cups. Yeah, it's like somebody may just try to smooth you, like tell you that they love you. And it could be very well true, but they also have a love for something else or someone else or just the lifestyle of being single, being available, being out there. They're not ready to give that up. The love is not singular. It is plural here. Um, they want you to hang in there, hang around, stick around. What is the advice for Aquarius here? Nine of Swords. Um, somebody doesn't like being without your energy, okay? It causes for a deficit with them. It causes for their energy to go down. You feed them, especially if this is a karmic situation. Um, so they need you back with the Nine of Swords. I don't feel like you're in the Nine of Swords, but the cards could even be warning that you go back to this, you'll be in the Nine of Swords type of energy where you'll be overthinking over-evaluating, feeling lonely, feeling stuck, replaying thoughts and replaying conversations and just not being in a good place. Maybe even making a scapegoat. Um, let's see, what else? What do you want to tell Aquarius? The fool card. Yeah, you'll be a, a plain fool um, for going back to this uh, because it'll have no, de there's no definitive end. There's nothing this person is not outlining um, the end game for you. Uh, so you'll be taking a risk here with the full card. All right, let's see. What else do you want to tell Aquarius about this relationship spirit? What else do you want to tell Aquarius about this relationship? What else do you want to tell Aquarius? Okay, uh, the Ace of Cups. So it could, um, again, this person may have a, a you know love for you and you have love for them. But this relationship could be without progression. Yeah. You know, you guys will start back up, especially already having history. You'll start back up, but nothing will progress. Like, oh, okay, we're, we're moving in together. We're doing this. We're doing that. There'll be no progression. It'll be the same old, same old. Um, or stagnant. And the lovers at the bottom of the deck. This person does recognize you as a high-level soulmate, twin flame, whatever they subscribe to or you subscribe to. But they have to be choosing lover's journey um they have to be choosing you also someone could have come in between this love relationship here too this is a contract maybe even a soul contract okay yeah this person wants to have you as a sexual you know person that they go to they go in between you know being single or other people yeah this person definitely wants you you know permanently because Again, you feed their energy and they're going through some karmic situation. And when you're in their life, you know, if you're vibing high, if you're a uh, high vibing uh, Aquarius, then you kind of, you mitigate or you minimize the, the karma that they're going through, the dark night of the soul, the overthinking on their part. You help them in some way. If you want to continue to do that, you can do whatever. Let's see what this relationship is about, Aquarius. What's this relationship about? One more shuffle. Let's see. Clarify this. Karma. Can't make this crap up, right? It's karma. So karma, what, is that, what does that say? It just means that you've met a particular person, place, thing with a particular person for a reason you've got to learn your lesson they've got to learn theirs individually you don't pinpoint what theirs is and you know put it in their face nor should they be doing it to you but this was just you know a relationship out of you needing to learn something and move on you know karmic union you know there is a contract here there's a soul tie Wow, it, it wanted to come out and I wanted to put it back. A twin flame. But I don't think this person is choosing the journey here. You know, you may have done this in past life. You've met each other in past life. Whoa, and a soulmate. So this could be a high level soulmate. 
this person sees you getting a lot of attention or they know that you will or they know that you will get it scooped up eventually you know wifed up or husband up or you'll be with someone yeah the young female um you could either be young very attractive you could look younger for your age also they see you on life on your in your life on your platform whatever it may be getting a lot of attention living life to the fullest and they need that vibration because without you they don't feel as high as they should or they don't feel as great as they should it's like this is a usurper like they come to take and not give it's like they need you know to you to feed their fire their flame even if they have you in their life as as a friend or they may want like a friends with benefits type of relationship going on here because they're not able or they're not willing or they're just whatever um to give you exactly what you need let's see what these cards have to say what what, what card do you have for aquarius spirit what card what card is for aquarius um you could be younger than them they could just be like stealing your time your essence you know stealing your youth they're not giving anything uh to to whom much is given much will be required period so i think you you vibe higher than this person and they know it you may even know it and that's why they have to come and you know feed off of you you may even feel that when you are around this person when they're in your life things are, are brighter for them things that look up for them they're in high spirits they're this they're that and then um you may even feel that when you're around them you know things kind of get a little stagnant for you or maybe even things just go down or downhill for you or just get stagnant you know just no growth and it's because you're feeding them you know and they know it um let's see what these cards have to say okay so aquarius about this relationship okay you tell aquarius about this relationship libra the idealist maybe somebody is a libra you have libra in your chart harmonious it, this might not be a harmonious relationship uh and different definitely not one that is of cooperation or balance um this person could be very indecisive maybe a people pleaser they're very choosy and they're all about the aesthetics they like how you look they like what you offer um giving they want you to give giving 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 you know um, let's see aries can have aries in your chart you know this person you're self-starter you're daring you're fierce you're assertive um sexy fun maybe a little bossy could be selfish competitive argumentative impulsive or this is that person you could be dealing with maybe a cardinal energy these are two cardinal signs here so i guess uh cancer would be up next um let's see sextile opportunity so collaborate yep assist explains provides opportunity so this person really wants you in their life so that you can do that you can collaborate assist them and provide opportunity bring in insight communicate and welcomes and maybe even develop you know this person had you feeling like you were in the trunk when you were really driving the car you know um you have the power in this relationship okay at the bottom of the deck aquarius the innovator okay experimental uh rational uh liberal electric uh disruptive edgy detached diverse eccentric utopian group oriented free the humanit humanitarian so it's like with them knowing that you are the humanitarian you are giving or a giver or given it's like they know you know that they can get that from you because it's, it's second nature to you this person just really wants to just take 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 you know um last energy here what does this person want to say to the aquarius what does aquarius want to say to this person what does aquarius want to say to this person ace of swords you know 
maybe you want to tell them that you made some irrevocable change that you see the truth of the matter now that there's no going back that you know maybe the information was conflicting at first um but now it, you you've come to some resolve about it you get it uh, what does the aquarius want to tell this person you also understand the magic that they were doing the three of pentacles you were trying to share your life with this individual there is no sharing because this is a this is someone who will just take 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 um you understand that this person is a knight um you may want to tell this person you know look i understand you you like the beginning of relationships you like the newness of a connection you have unrealistic expectations for a partner and relationships and you don't know how to maintain a, a connection um I'm not in the energy of wanting to maybe to fall in love with you anymore, or uh, you can't. What is what is clarify the Knight of Cups? You could be guarded also in terms of yeah, the Sun card. It's like you've gained some clarity about the playful nature that this person has, the immature nature when it comes to love. You know, it's a game to them. Love is a game, and you understand that. And this is what you really want to tell them. What does this person want to tell Aquarius? What does this person want to tell Aquarius? What does this person want to tell Aquarius? The Seven of Wands, they, they're really trying to come in destructive and, and tear down your walls, the barrier that you built for yourself, the peace that you have now. Um, they, they're trying hard to get your attention and maintain it. Uh, they could be doing sex magic is what they're saying. Uh, the Hermit card, they're going through karma and they need you to help them with this. They're, there's something about their personality is transitioning they want your help they want you there at their side they're going over the past and they're looking over things here um what does this person want to tell the aquarius they want you in their life forever they want your forgiveness they want you to relinquish them stop holding them they're going through some type of judgment maybe for treating you unfair unjust it's what they want to tell you Maybe that you are judging them. They want you to help them transition. Yeah, they feel like you're a spiritual guru. They feel like you are the high priestess. They feel like you already know what they're going through. They want to tell you that they know that you're cut off from your emotions when it comes to them. They want to tell you that you just not talking to them is making you even more irresistible, desirable. They'll do anything to get to you that you are above each and every woman in their life but there are other women women in their lives or other men um they want to tell you that they feel like you're smart you have wisdom your sex appeal the sex is good you may have even awakened like their kundalini energy or kama sutra or something that you guys do they can't get over you yeah they're stuck you know, and that might be the karma that they have to deal with. All right. That's what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. Come check me out live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I ask, I answer questions and I do a collective reading. Click the subscribe and then click the bell button so you know when I'm live and you can come ask questions. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.